if your enrollment is going down, why does the rate of spending continue to go up? I said we're done. No, I get to decide when we're done. For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. Is Ms. Tim currently in contact with any students? Is she continuing her duties as librarian? Is she still in the school building where she allegedly committed the assault? Is it appropriate for you, well, I don't know, I guess I gave you permission not to answer questions, so. But ma'am, I, I haven't uh, talked to you much yet. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, Ms. Tim's background? <laughs> okay, so this guy just almost slammed the door on me, but it didn't work very well because the door is, doesn't slam very fast. Um, can you tell me a little bit about um, Ms. Tim's background, how long she's been with the school? Now, you're a board member, correct? What was her punishment exactly, and why is that secret from the public? Are you on the board? Yes. Question for you. Sure. I understand there's been some talk of trying to establish a tax cap on the on the board. Uh, what's your position on that? Um, I don't recall any discussion on the board itself about that. I know it was brought up um, from the public at the district session back in February, uh, and it was voted down by the public as well. Uh, it's not something we've addressed directly. Um, right now, we're just trying to work with the financial restraints given to us by the state and the federal government, putting together the best program we can. They're actually putting financial restraints on you? Uh, in the sense that education is usually low-hanging fruit when they're looking for a place to reduce the federal budgets and the state budgets. Has your budget ever gone down? <laughs> From the state? Oh, absolutely. Well, I mean, it's gone you, down this year. Have you ever, has your board ever spent less? in a given year than it did the year before? I've only been on the board for two months, so I really can't speak to the historical budget process at this time. All right, I appreciate uh, that. I'm sure I'll know more if you happen to address me again in a couple of months. Okay. <laughs> All right, thanks so much. <laughs> and which one are you? Uh, George Downey. Oh, yeah, Mr. Downey. I've read about you in the paper a time or two. All right, thanks so much. I appreciate the time. Are you on the board? I am. A uh, question for you. I understand there's been some talk of establishing a tax cap uh, on the Board of Education in Keene. What's your position on a tax I'm cap? I'm not aware of that. It was brought up at the deliberative session. Um, I guess voters, some of the voters brought it up and suggested a 0.5% maximum rate of tax increase from year to year. Uh, I don't recall that. Were you at the deliberative session? I was. It was hotly debated. I saw it on Cheshire TV. <laughs> if I were there, I would have probably forgotten some of what happened, too. But um, uh, It was a petition article. That's right. I do recall that. Yeah, okay. I don't recall it being hotly debated, but yes, I do recall it. Okay. Um, and I am not supportive of a tax cap. Why not? I'm sorry? Why are you not supportive of it? I feel that that uh, places an artificial barrier uh, to the district being able to do what it needs to do. From time to time, uh, there may be reasons to to have a higher or a lesser budget depending on what's going on, and I think a tax cap is too constraining. Have you so ever had a lesser budget? Has your budget ever gone down from year to year? And can you name the last time? I cannot. 
your enrollment continues to go down, doesn't it? Generally? We're done. If your enrollment is going down, why does the rate of spending continue to go up? Yes, please. I said we're done. No, well, I get to decide when we're done. You can just stop talking if you want. Uh, what do you have to say to taxpayers who have to live with a sort of a tax cap of their own in the sense that they don't earn mo more money from year to year? Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM, Feds don't want you to hear them.